Let's grab the rectangular marquee tool. I'll click and drag to create a selection like so. Now let's talk about the different modes available to us. Up here in the options bar are four buttons. The first one by default creates a new selection. The second adds to a selection. The third subtracts. And the fourth intersects. Now we can click on these buttons to jump into the different modes. I prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts, and that's what I'd like to show you just now. So we're still using the rectangular marquee tool. If I hold down the shift key, it puts me into add mode. We can see that button just up there. So holding down the shift key, I can happily add to the selection like so. Holding down the alt or the option key puts me into subtract mode. Again, we can see that just up here. So I can trim edges off of my selection like so. Or if I drag out an area inside the selection, I can actually punch a hole in the selection. Now to get to the fourth mode, the intersect mode, we hold down the Alt or the Option key and the Shift key. So I'll drag out a new selection. Where the new selection overlaps the old selection, that is the result that we get. Okay, so there are the four different modes available to us. Let's now talk about some of the ways we can combine the different selection techniques here in Photoshop. So I'm just going to click in a blank part of the canvas to deselect. And again, let's drag out a rectangular selection like so. Let's go and grab now the elliptical marquee tool. I'll hold down the shift key to put me into add mode, drag out a selection, and we've happily combined those two shapes just there. Let's now go and grab, say, the lasso tool. Holding down the Alt or the Option key to put me into subtract mode, drag out an area, nicely taken out a chunk of the selection just there. Okay, so that's the theory. Let's now have a look at a couple of practical examples. So in this first image just here, let's go and grab the quick selection tool I'll drag out a selection over the flower like so. And let's zoom in on the top left just here and have a look at our selection. Okay, let's see, I'll just add a little bit more here. Okay, so generally it's pretty good. We've definitely got a few problem areas. So let's go and grab, say, the lasso tool again. Now I wish to add this little bit of the petal back in. Holding down the shift key, I can select that area like so. Fantastic, we've nicely added that in. We need to actually subtract this area just here. So holding down Alt or Option, I'll drag over this area. And fantastic. Okay, so we've nicely tweaked that selection just there. Let's look at our next example. Now in this image, I'm thinking I would like to select the area inside the lens. So let's zoom in a little just here. So clearly this area is mainly a circle, except for a couple of issues just up here and here. So let's actually go and grab the elliptical marquee tool, and I'll click and drag to start creating a selection just here. Nice little trick to know here, guys. If you hold down the space bar, you can actually move a selection around while still creating it. So this will be a little rough, but let's get it roughly into place like so. Okay, that's looking pretty good just there. So let's zoom in just here. Now I need to take out these hard edges just here. So let's go and grab the polygonal lasso tool. I want to subtract this area just here. So holding down Alter Option, I'll click and release, click and release, click and release, and then double click to close that off. Fantastic, we have successfully trimmed that selection just there. Let's come down to the bottom area just here. Again, holding Alter Option to put us into subtraction mode. Click and release, click and release, click and release, and double click to close that off. Fantastic, there's our selection just there. So hopefully that quick overview gives you some cool ideas on how you could be potentially combining the selection techniques here in Photoshop. Catch you later.